you look at the cloud as you're an example, seemingly infinite scale there. You don't have to worry about how much compute you own or, or have. It's just there and it's not anything you ever really need to consider. It's like, we need this for this much time on, on this date. And you know it's always going to be there and it's available. The traditional way of thinking would be that you would plan your IT budget, you would buy some infrastructure. And if your development team wanted to do a piece of work, they could do it providing that it was within the realms of what you already had. Now we can think about things like cost of product. So cost of sale is a really good one. So if we say we want to launch a new campaign tomorrow uh, and the development team have got a good idea that they want to stand some new service up, we don't have to go and buy anything. They can just run it up. We can think about what was the cost for each sale that we got. This is just an example. And then at that point, we've stood up a service without even worrying about it. I think the big change has been most organizations didn't have developers. Developers really sat with vendors, SIs, and really large companies. But now we'll have an accountancy firm that will have a development team. We'll have a legal firm that will have a development team. That never used to happen. So if those people existed 15 years ago and it was all on-prem, they would have been doing containerization already at that point. Maybe not 15, but close to that. But now everyone's got it. It needs to be more attainable. We found the ways to do that within Microsoft's uh, Azure platform.